This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one and only ape father in the house, baby. Wow! Uh, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Ape father's up all night. Been watching a bunch of, uh, you know, YouTube videos from AMC. And all I see everywhere I look is this uh, Shibo Uno coin. Actually, on Stock Twist, it surpassed uh amc as the most talked about the most messages uh Sh Sh shiba uno okay and you want to know why i think this is <laughs> you want to know why i think this is i'm going to tell you why i'm relaxing here tonight you know i've been in this play since june okay the ape father the ape father came to amc around june and i've been seeing a lot of things okay i've been seeing a lot of things since i came into this play uh, Clove, you understand? What else? Support.com, Be Big, you know. Now, uh, Sh Shiba Uno, what's the other thing? The, the C CEI, okay. Did you ever, like, think for one second, okay, that this is all being done on purpose? That it's like a big con to fool you into selling your AMC? Did you ever, like like seriously? Did you ever think for a second that the hedge funds are purposely and intentionally they're watching? Because you remember when like Teddy Zane said uh, he made that video, and this is a good thing I'm saying, not, no, nothing negative. Okay, remember when Teddy Zane said, you know, I gotta watch what I say because I think Citadel is watching me. You know, you know, somebody feels like Citadel is watching me. You know, he's right. Okay, the big hedge fund, Citadel, they hire people to study what's going on on social media. They see trends, okay? And what's the big trend right now? Shiba Uno, all these uh, other like plays, you know, the CEI. Okay, so the thing is, what do you think they're doing? They're reporting back to Ken Griffin. They're reporting back to all the hedge funds saying, look, this is the talk of the town. This is what This is what's exciting everybody. So what do you think the hedge funds do? And I looked at they they invested it. They invested it, they pump it for the purposes of creating, okay, FOMO buying. Fear missing out. Okay? So now you start thinking to yourself, you know, I'm not making no money in AMC. I'm wasting my time here. You know, there are plays going up a hundred, two hundred, three hundred percent. And what do you do? It's natural human instinct and emotion to sell, right? Sell your AMC and jump into these, you know, I like to call them pump and dump setups, okay? So the idea is you sell your AMC, you go into these plays, and then they, they tank. <laughs> Just like, it, listen, it happened already so many times before. Like we saw this happen with Clove. We saw this happen with support.com. We saw this happen already, okay? And it's probably going to happen with the Shiba Uno coin too, okay? And I don't care. Like, everybody's big at this big thing. Like, Elon Musk is talking about it. Look, I love Elon. Elon's a genius. But remember, all I have to say to you is this. Saturday Night Live. Remember? I mean, I was involved in uh, in, the, in Deutsche Coin. Remember what happened? How that thing tanked? All right. From 72 cents all the way down. So listen, the bottom line is this, okay? Why do you think that hedge funds, why do you think they want us to sell AMC? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. Okay, why? Why? AMC is a royal flush. AMC is life-changing wealth. They're in a mountain of debt, 10 times the size of the Grand Canyon. Okay, so so they, listen to me. It's very simple. You know, they'll throw you a bone. They, they'll give you a little bit of money because don't you understand the mountain of debt that they're in? Not only would it bankrupt Citadel, not only would it bankrupt probably every single hedge fund that's out there if AMC goes up to its tr uh, true potential, which is over a hundred, like a hundred thousand dollars a share. AMC price is $50 trillion market cap. 
So put yourself in a hedge fund's position because, you know, between the synthetic shares, the short positions, all the damage they did to themselves, you think they, they'll, they'll give you 300%. They'll give you 200%. They'll pop up. They'll pop up a play for you. Of course, they're going to pop up a play because they would rather you sell your AMC. You understand? Get out of that so they could cover at low bottom, bottom prices, okay, to throw you a little bone on a stupid play because let me tell you the logic if you stay at amc it's gonna bankrupt them it's gonna destroy them and ultimately okay it's gonna make us have the biggest transfer of wealth in american history okay so put yourself in a hedge fund shoes which one would you rather would you rather throw a little bone a hundred percent two hundred percent to apes or would you rather throw them the biggest transfer of wealth in history? My point to you is stop falling for distractions. Stop being fooled all the time. We've seen it with Clove. We've seen it with support.com. How many times are you going to keep falling for this? AMC is the only play. Look, if you like I said before in other videos, all right? Because apes keep telling me, ape father, what's wrong if I make a little bit of money on the side? There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't sell your AMC. The problem is, I think a lot of apes, you have to understand, they don't have money. Like, see, this is the thing. There's a lot of apes, they don't have money that they could do two things at once. Where they could be an AMC and then invest in other things. Because they got to pay the electric bill. They got to pay mortgage, rent, food on the table. So... You know, let's put it this way. There are apes that are going through, you know, emergency situations where they can't even keep your, their AMC because of survival purposes, right? Like they got to survive. They got to pay the bills. So now could you imagine that they want to put money in other plays? So my point is there's going to be a lot of apes simply because they don't have the liquidity and the money that they're going to sell their AMC to go into other plays. And all I'm saying to you is you're falling for Citadel's tricks. That's all I'm saying to you. Hold the line. You got a royal flush, you know, and that's why I, I tend to agree with people who say, you know, not everybody, you know, I made a video once I was in the supermarket. Not everybody's meant to be a millionaire. And a lot of people commented on that video I made. And I tend to agree with that comment because, you know, if you don't have diamond balls of steel and you're going to fall for every little trick, I feel like the apes, they fall for tricks. You know, it's like Citadel throws you a little distraction, a little bone that you can make a small about to change and you jump ship. You jump ship so fast, you don't even hesitate. You're not meant to be rich. You're not meant to be a millionaire. You got to have diamond balls of steel. You got to be willing to just ride, ride this war, ride the waves, baby, where we're going to be standing after the 15 rounds. We're going to be victorious. Nothing is going to knock us down. But you got to have diamond balls of steel and don't fall the, for the distractions amc to pluto it's a royal flush generational wealth life-changing wealth i love my ape family just wanted to make a quick video on that